Okay, so the patient needs to open the blister packet with the enema in and empty it. Okay, so once the patient's taken it out the blister box, it will look like this. Now this one is full with mesalazine and it's got the nozzle on, like this one. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use an empty one. So I'm going to move this one to one side. Okay, so the patient needs to again wash their hands. So, like with the foam enema, once the cap is removed, it's got a lubrication on the nozzle, so it makes it easier for insertion into the back passage. Now, it's best if this treatment's done once the patient has emptied their bowels, but if that isn't possible, then treatment should still continue. The patient should lie down on their left-hand side with their left leg extended and their right leg up to their stomach. They should then insert this into their back passage and push the reservoir with the full content of the enema unless told otherwise. Just hold it for a few seconds and then remove it, put the cap back on and are advised to lie down for 30 minutes or for as long as possible. Now, as you can see, this has stayed compact and that's because this is a one-way valve. So the enema can only go back out and no content can come back into the reservoir. So it's much easier for the patient to use and not as messy.